Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to Liu, Live Everything and Wonder. And welcome back to our van. We are Luca and Sara from Liu, Live Everything and Wonder. We have traveled from Alaska to Argentina, remodeling and renovating our old truck camper Lucky Liu on the road. We are now back in Italy and we are keeping our do-it-yourself skills in good shape challenging ourselves uh, with projects that we've never done before. After five weeks of hard job, we finished the conversion of our tiny mini camper van and we are almost ready to hit the road again. In today's video, we will show you our van life essentials. Actually, everything we will take along with us on our Italian road trip van life adventure. We will also show you the tools, uh, the electrical tools that we used uh, for our van conversion. So not a lot of tools, just a few ones. <laughs> We are so happy that you appreciate and you like our van conversion. We love it and we can't wait, I think starting from the next video, to show you around Italy. I don't know if you notice in the van tour, but we added some finishing touches to the van. For example, we close here this part of the bed and we reinforce the legs, so the bed will be solid and strong. We add this decoration, la vita è bella, that is also our motto, life is beautiful. Luca did a really precious job adding this metal here and on the other side as well. Yes, yeah, so on this step, uh, this step was really hard to, to build. Many of you asked uh, how we build uh, the hydraulic system. We have some images for you guys. The fresh water comes uh, in here from a hose uh, inside this pipe and it will fill up uh, all our fresh water tank. From our fresh water tank we have this pipe uh, that goes uh, all the way back here, all the way to the water pump. In the front of the water pump there is a filter and uh, from the water pump uh, the water goes up here to uh, the expansion tank. The water comes here where it splits uh, to fresh and hot. We don't have hot water and cold water so both of them goes here and then we finally have the water coming out. And this faucet? This faucet adjustable. can, yes, you can pretty long we can take showers with this one and now let's talk about the gray water from the sink the water will come out here down here and I can choose now you can see it's open to go to this pipe and this pipe uh, goes uh, outside the van we have a little hole that goes out uh, so if we are just brushing our teeth or if we are using a biodegradable soaps uh, we can just make it go outside. The other way we can close here, we can open this one back here like this, the water will come here and it will go into the grey water tank. Anytime uh, we can take the grey water tank out, uh, we left uh, the pipe pretty long so we can just close here undo the pipe and dump the grey water tank. Basically here we have all our power tools that we use to convert this van into our little home on wheels. So here we have a wood cutting machine that we use to cut all the wood we have inside. Here we have a welder, we use it to build and um, modify our roof rack. This grinder we use it to cut all the steel and uh, metal things that we had to cut. We have a mouse sander, we have a nail gun, we have a jigsaw. Thank you jigsaw! This one is Sarah's favorite tool, we use it to make all the cuts that weren't square. So to make the square cuts we use this and all the other cuts we use this one. And then uh, a portable drill, we use it to make all the holes, to screw in uh, all the screws, uh, to pre-drill holes for the screws and everything. We would like to show you guys that you don't need tons of tools to convert a van. Actually, you need a lot of passion, patience, because remember, it's not the vehicle that makes the traveler, it's the traveler that makes the vehicle. <laughs> Of course, a four-wheel drive vehicle will allow you to go off the beaten path and drive off-roads, but 
it's possible to convert a van with few tools and to do a great job also on a mini tiny teeny tiny home like this one okay starting from this side of our under bed storage we have the fridge it's a 21 liters fridge and this fridge works hot and cold if you want to keep your your plate warm or during the the winter time you can do it here we have our portable toilet with the fresh water tank and the waste tank so like this under everything you see we place some felt pads so we will not ruin the, the flooring while keep moving back and forth all this stuff we want a really comfortable bed or the bed that could be as comfortable as possible and to be able to recharge all our gears without any problem so that's why we have our 280 watt solar panel with the inverter and the battery everything but in addition to that we also have a power station a portable power station that could save us in any occasion and it's this one it's the bluetti for cooking we have a one burner portable camping stove that works with butane gas so we bought some additional cans from our experience we know that relying totally just on gas propane butane gas whatever is not a clever idea because you can run out of gas you couldn't find a place where you can refill your your tanks so in addition to our one burner camping stove portable we also bought uh, portable barbecue that we will show you in future videos we will start from the kitchen gears tools and of course I'm starting with my mocha pot we'll bring this with us and this is a mocha pot adapter for the camping stove you place it here and you can place your mocha pot without this falling down we need to pay real attention to the weight because we cannot carry a lot of weight with us and especially traveling you know you need to be light that's why we decided to to buy plates glasses cutlery bolts everything in stainless steel and they are super light we have Three cutting boards we have some silicone sponges two of them they are not stinky they are easy to wash and you can reuse them for forever here we have a soap dispenser for the plate so you will not waste any of soap you know when you are using just from the bottle you use more than you really need and with this one you will use the right quantity as usual we will have only one pen if you have the right one there is no problem this one is a uh, with a no sticky coating and we'll cook everything in here for our barbecue we have some fiberglass grill barbecue grill you can put on on the top of a barbecue and this is a non sticky uh, grill and it's super easy also this one to clean because as you saw in the previous videos our sink is really small we'll be able to use it but if we can avoid to wash too long for too long and even our tank our water tank fresh water tank is 23 liters so it's not a huge amount of water let's move to the security survival and uh, emergency kit let's start with the first aid kit we have everything uh, we could possibly need uh, in here Everybody knows what is this. Uh, this is a water filter. So if we run out of water and uh, we need to filter any kind of water, we, we will have um, 2000 liters uh, to survive. Then, uh, I love this. <laughs> this is a really survival kit. We have a survival knife. Carabiner, survival bracelet, 
a wire soap, an emergency blanket, an 11 in 1 multi tool, a whistle. You want to try, Luca? A flashlight, a scraper and flintstone, a tactical pen. So from this side we, you can break windows and from this side you can just use it as a pen. And water bottle clip. Then we have two pepper spray to protect ourselves. This is one of my favorites. Uh, this is a flashlight uh, that you can you can just put it there, it has a magnet, uh, so you can uh, put it wherever you want, uh, even here on even the van. when you open a hood of a car. Yes, uh, I first used this uh, uh, at my mechanic, uh, because uh, it's perfect, you can put it anywhere uh, where the engine is uh, and it, with the magnet it will steer the air and it will help you to see what you're doing so I said I had to buy something like this because doing van life this is a, a game changer and also you can just charge it with a USB mm -hmm. so pretty easy to charge and then we have a second flashlight also this one we can charge it with a USB and it has uh, many different uh, lights, SOS, uh, also emergency light. And last, uh, we also have a thermometer that we can use to see the temperature inside and outside the van, even when our windows are closed. So this will be r really nice. We can also see the time, what time is it, uh, so we will always be informed. The thermometer is not a survival gear for sure, but Luca loves to check the temperature. We have two sets of towels, then we have the sheet sets too. So when you wash one, you have another one that you can use. Some blankets. My pillow. Beautiful people pillows. And here we have a variety of different things. Let's start from my favorite, the portable vacuum. <laughs> if you know me, if you follow our videos, you know that I have the old model in Lucky Liu, in our truck camper, and then we bought the new version of this vacuum for the new van. And it's small, but it's so powerful and I love it. You don't need anything else, just the little vacuum. For cleaning, I love microfiber especially for traveling. The microfiber absorbs everything and it dries really fast. We will have a portable shower. This one is not the best one, but we had the same in Lucky Liu and it did the job. So we, we will go with this. It worked then, for three years. Yes, so. so it's okay. Then a really smart solution that I didn't have before, I bought just for this Italian road trip is this kettle with a 12 volt socket. Luca is a tea drinker, I'm a coffee drinker, American coffee drinker, so we love boiling water if we need to cook pasta, rice. With this one we don't need to use the gas, the, the portable stove, but we can use this instead. And I think it's really clever and smart. Use solar energy. Don't laugh at me right now. This is a really small, portable, tiny hair dryer. But you know, we are going to travel in Italy and the temperature are not, we are not anymore in Central and South America where the temperature is always great, it's hot and you can just wash your air and then let it dry open air outside. In Italy it could be really cold, so this one will be useful. We have some mosquito wipes, some vanilla candles, a yoga mat, then thank you mom. I know for you it's really important. I need to show this because I think it's so cute. It's a travel iron. Look at this. So Beautiful. in case we need to have a fancy dinner, an elegant dinner in a really cool Italian restaurant, we can have all our clothes perfect. What we should do. We will use vegan biodegradable products for our hair, for our body, for everything. So we will not damage the planet, we will not damage the environment. This will come pretty in handy if you need to 
attach something to your van or I don't know you are taking a shower and you want your towel to be right next to you and you can hang up to three kilos on this so we have two we have three kilos each yeah plenty of towels plenty of towels or we have a, a shower curtain that we can use here when we will shower and we don't want everyone to see us naked so we can hang the the curtain the shower curtain using this one it's really useful Next, uh, we have some beautiful products that Fiamma gave to us. Uh, so thank you very much, Fiamma. We are super grateful. Starting from here, we have a patio. So this will go under the huge, uh, big uh, awning uh, that we have here. And talking about this awning, we also have two LED lights that will go under the two arms. Uh, we also have two tie down, uh, this is super important, they will tie down uh, your awning, so perfect. In case of wind or? Everything you need to tie them down, always. Then we have a LED to put outside, uh, maybe here, maybe on the other side uh, and it's really cool because it has a motion sensor so it will turn on and turn off uh, when you move uh, down there. Here we have uh, two different uh, grip uh, systems uh, that we will use uh, on the beach if there is some sand, uh, if there is some grass. Uh, I can't wait uh, to try this because uh, I want to remember you guys that this is a front wheel drive and it's only two wheel drive. So. It's good to have something that can save you from, uh, you know, off-grid places. We also have uh, something to level our van. On Lucky Liu, we used to use a 2x4 wood or whatever we find on the road. Finally, we have something professional that we can uh, um, level our van. We will show you in future videos how to use this. Uh, and also if we decide uh, to stay in one place uh, more than two or three days uh, and uh, maybe it's windy or maybe we want to use our rooftop tent uh, and we don't want to feel shaking uh, with these jacks uh, we will be able to level the van and uh, prevent him, uh, the van uh, to move and to shake so this is really cool changing your tires probably I will be using that as well we will move to some cool accessories. For example, OmniStop. This is a really innovative accessory that will allow you and will help you to keep plates and items in place while you are traveling. So this will be really useful for all the plates that I showed you before. We need to find the right position for that. We will use this for the sanitizer gel you know, during this time of COVID, it's always better to have something that is really easy to use. So we will place this in the front of our van so we can have our hands always clean. And these three products are the best products you can use for a long life of your portable toilet. We have some toilet paper and then some cleaning product that are anti-freeze, anti-odors. So our van will be always nice clean and we don't have a bad smell inside and now after showing you all these items actually the title of this video is van life essentials there are a little bit more than van life essentials but this is what we will take with us during this van life italian van life road trip yes and stay tuned uh, to see if we will be able to fit all these things in our small little mini van <laughs> tiny teeny now it's really time to hit the road so stay tuned subscribe to our channel so you will be able to see all our videos uh, through italy with this amazing little tiny teeny mini van <laughs> <laughs> again <laughs> but it's also time to reveal the name we need to give this van an identity a name so first of all we chose an italian name of course and uh, it, it is kind of famous a uh, name I don't know like for me I'm uh, from 1988 and I grew up with some video games uh, me too. with uh, Super Mario and all the things uh, 
So I think that... Uh, yeah, and we want something that could be really not so far from our logo, not so far from our name. So leave everything in wonder, but usually everyone call us Liu. So the name of the van would be... Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> Written that... like this. Luigi. So and... the name of our YouTube channel, but uh, we will say the Luigi. Luigi. Luigi, like uh, the Italian name uh, that I think it's Yeah, it's quite super cool. cool. Please let us know if you like the name Luigi for our van. Let us know in the comments what you think if you are happy with this name. The... <laughs> the, Ita <laughs> the Italian words for today's video are... Sulla strada. On the road. Cose. Things. Cosa ti serve. What do you need? Sulla strada. On the road. Cose. Things. Cosa ti serve? What do you need? All you need is love. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, beautiful people. We hope that you like all what we have shown you in this video. If you liked uh, everything you saw, if you like us, uh, if you like our channel, please uh, show it to us uh, smashing the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell and please consider to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done already. It's totally free and it helps us a lot. Right. We love you beautiful people. <laughs> we appreciate you. Thank you for coming along with us. And stay tuned because Italy is coming soon. See you on the next one. La vita è bella. Life is beautiful. Ciao. Ciao.